Hey guys, my name's Eric and welcome to DigiClick HD. So we're gonna be talking about Google Photos, but if you haven't seen my previous video, we actually talked about organizing photos and videos manually. If you'd like to go check that out before you watch this, uh, I'll leave a link here um, or a link in the description. Um, if you've already seen that, uh, this is part two and let's get right into it. So I'm going to quickly show you how to set up Google Photos and why I use it alongside of my way of organizing my photos and videos. So another reason I started backing up to Google Photos was because I took all this time to organize all my photos and videos in all this, you know, folders and file stuff. I have this whole 5 terabyte hard drive actually backed up, uh, a backup of it to another 5 terabyte hard drive because if one fails, I would lose everything. But then I started really thinking, I'm like, well, what if for some reason I lost both? I like, I really want to have another backup of everything because this is like my last 10, 12 years of my life. I have like 65,000 plus photos mixed with videos and it's just, it, you know, it's a crazy amount of data and I want to have all that because I don't know, it's just like precious memories to me. So I saw that Google Photos has unlimited storage. I'm like, all right, well, as long as it has unlimited storage, I will at least have a backup. It's not gonna be the full quality of what it exactly was, but their high quality is actually really nice. It's really good. And at least I have a copy of all of these memories. And even if I do lose a few of them, I have the majority of them. Again, this is another reason why I'm using this. It's unlimited storage. That's amazing. Okay, so to show you how to set up Google Photos, uh, go to your browser, and type in Google Photos into the search. And on here, you wanna find, it might be the first one, but uh, go to apps. And here you want to download the desktop uploader. Once you click it, you download it, you'll set it up. It's pretty self-explanatory. I will leave a link in the description to this. And once you have this set up, and installed, you will get a window that will be similar to this one right here. This is Google Photos Photos uh, uh, Preferences folder or preference window, and basically, it's all all it's asking you is which folders that you want to back up. Since I set up my master folder with everything in there is organized, I am only backing up my master folder. You can set up as uh, multiple folders that you like. And here you set your settings with the high quality, you get the free unlimited storage. And if you can do original quality, but that just depends on how much storage you have on your Google account. Google does give you a free 15 gigs, but 15 gigs is not a lot, especially if you're backing up all of your uh, folders and video or um, pictures and videos. So again, I set mine to high quality, it's free unlimited storage, great visual quality at reduced file size. The pictures do still look great. Once you have this set up, you click OK. So now basically every time I go through and I add any pictures to this folder here, oops, uh, this folder here, uh, it will automatically be backed up uh, to my Google Photos because it's set up in my preferences here. And I really don't have to worry anymore. Um, it is great. Once you start backing it up, uh, for me, since I had so many photos and videos, it took me about three or four months actually of uploading. It won't take you that long depending on how many photos and videos you have and then what your internet connection speed is. But once you have this, you can go over to, you know, just type in Google Photos or you can go straight over to the little grid here. Click on this if you're using Chrome and click photos and it will show you now um, your photos in here. These are a couple little photos, screenshots and snapshots I got uh, the other day. You can go to your pictures and here, you know, you can see it will show you by year. It takes all your photos and uses the metadata and goes through and organizes them by year. So now if I wanna go back to like 2009, I click 2009 and this was like a small little party, uh, Halloween party I went to. Uh, if you go down to, let's see, 2000, May 2007, this is when I was in Los Angeles. Um, so you can see it goes and organizes all of them and this is, this is great. But um, Google went and took it one step further and actually made it easy to make everything searchable. So I'm just gonna bring this up so I don't have to show as many people, but um, cool thing here is it, you'll see all the faces here. You can click on the arrow and it will go through and show you 
it will go through here and show you people's faces. So I'm going to blur out my friends names because I don't know if they would like to, them to be on here. What Google does is they take all your photos that you upload and they do facial recognition on all of them and this makes it super simple for you to go and find pictures of your friends and family uh, easily just by searching. Say so here this is my nephew Xavier and um, so you can go through here and now it's going to go through and do facial recognition on videos and on and on pictures and it will pick up even like like small little details even when they're in the background like this photo here his face is very very small but he is in there which is amazing um there are other crazy other examples um but and then also over time like these are baby baby pictures of him but it recognizes that it is him and um which is uh, absolutely amazing and so, and this goes all the way back, and it found pictures all the way back to when he was a newborn. Like, it did facial recognition of all that, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so, again, this makes it super simple for you to go through, find, and see what pictures you have of your friends and your family. You go through, you can click on the name, say, go back to the Xavier, you click here, you can name it whatever you want, and this keeps it so it's really easy for you to keep organized. I put a little um, thing next to it, basically like nephew, or if it was my friends, I put their, their like nickname next to it. So going back to the search bar now, you can see that you can, it says search for photos. So you can do say like wedding photos, you click on wedding, and it will pick up uh, pictures of different wedding photos. This is my the wedding I went to last year, my friend Mike and Bridget, uh, but it also will do um, crazy things, say like you search boat, oops, if I can spell boat, say you search for um, boat. And now it will go through and find any photos that contain any boats, which is absolutely crazy. So it does, it does confuse sometimes a couple little things like here, um, we are just on the beach, but and this is of a car, but even like this one, we were driving, this is with my GoPro, there was a boat on the road, and it still found it, which is crazy. Uh, another one, say you put in, say, a roller coaster. And see, you can see here, there are all these different pictures of roller coasters, which is absolutely awesome. And on Nintendo, let's try that. That didn't quite get it, but, um, but well, it did get the DS here. But again, you can search by just a bunch of different subjects or topics. You can also go through and search by what videos you have, uh, selfies, movies, uh, animations that you created. Uh, so, so let's say like go to animations. So these are uh, a couple little fun things. These are like little gifts that uh, Google will make. Also, you can do like little movies. And Google will go through and make little movies for you from your photos and your videos. It's cool that it will go through and automatically make these little movies for you. Uh, going back to here, also you can go up to uh, create and you can make an album, share an album, animations, collages, and then you can also go through uh, and check out the, the albums on the side here that you created. Like this was of a concert I did. I took some videos and some photos. You just saw a few of those. Also there is the assistant up here, which is Google Assistant, and it will go through and make up little animations and movies, like I said before. Then also it will say like rediscover. Kind of like what Facebook does of like rediscovering a day. Uh, this is rediscover this day, and so you can click view photos. It'll take one picture at the top, but then you can go through and see, and here are some terrible photos. But it's cool because sometimes you see some cool photos that you don't remember. So that is the gist of Google Photos. Google Photos is also on your phone. I'll show you that now. Here it is. You go and you download the app. Just click on the app. Google Photos will start. And here, this will show you like yesterday. These are the photos that I took some screenshots. I got one little video clip. And um, 
But then you can also do search, like he said before, you can search by faces. Just like with the computer, you can also search, you know, again, the video, selfies, collages. Um, also here, this is where you set up your, um, which folders you want to set up. Uh, this is your assistant, I'll go through, like I showed you before, this is exactly what you saw. It was the Rediscover This Day. You click on that, and you can see all the photos from that day. Here's another, uh, five years ago, Discover This Day. This was at my friend's house. It, it went through and made a little collage of that day, and, it's, and it tells you, let me go back. It shows you it was five years ago. And now you can click more photos or just a photo and does that as the top and then you can see all the little photos uh, from that day. Now if you click on the photos app, it will actually, you have access to all of the photos that you would like. So you see here it says March, September, 2013, 2012, 2011, 2010, 9, 8, 7, 1999. These ones are probably from 2000. This is uh, one picture of my grandfather. This is me and my brother and sister at like Christmas of like 2000. Pretty amazing app. You can see all the albums and stuff that you you made. Again, here's one. I was hanging out one night. It has all the videos and photos from that night all in one little thing. You can go through and you can name it. Anything you like. Give the location. And you have it set there. So, pretty awesome. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention was going back to the Google Photos. If you go here, once you have it all set up, um, Google Photos will back up everything. And if you click free up space, say you're running out of space on your phone, it'll go through, analyze, and check everything that's been backed up. And now you can see here it says remove 395 items. And these photos and videos have already been safely backed up to Google Photos library. So you can go through here. Click remove. I don't need to remove them at the moment, so I don't want to. And uh, and then it will free up space on your phone. You can see Google Photos is pretty awesome. Um, I do love it. I again, I like that I have a backup of all of my photos. Okay, guys. So that is how I organize my photos and videos alongside using Google Photos as like a last resort for backing them all up. But having the features of Google Photos is awesome because now I have all my photos basically on my phone, which is amazing. Oh, where is it? So, you know, I have all of my photos on my phone and I can get to them anytime I like and view them. It makes it super simple for me to see, you know, and share the, all these memories. And that's another note I wanted to go on is be aware that you are uploading all of your photos to the internet. The internet is, you know, everyone is connected on the internet. So if there are photos and stuff that you want to keep private, I know some people do have photos that they want to keep private, keep them, you know, to yourself. I would not upload them if you do not want to share them. But uh, again, the overall general purpose of just backing up your photos and having them accessible, um, Google Photos is amazing. Again, all your photos, once you upload them, they are set to private, no one else can see them, they are only selected to you, but you can easily go through there and share them with friends and family, the ones that you want to share. Since Google has came out, there have been other available services. The one in particular I can think of is from Amazon. If you are an Amazon Prime member, you can get unlimited photo uh, uploads and video uploads. Uh, the one advantage Amazon has is uh, that you can actually order photo books straight from Amazon, which is pretty cool. Okay guys, so I hope this really helps some of you that have no backup system or want to really organize all your photos. Uh, at least start off with Google Photos. Uh, Google Photos, uh, again, I have been really, really liking it, um, and I think you will too. So if you guys have any other tips or tricks or suggestions for organizing photos and videos, please leave a comment below. I love to like know these other ideas or what you guys do. Uh, for organizing your photos and videos. I'm always looking to improve on my organization and um, and this is a great way for people to get other ideas from other people and see what other services and stuff are out there. So again, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any other suggestions for videos, please leave a comment below too. I'd love to see what you guys are interested in. Thank you guys for subscribing and I'll see you guys soon in a new Digital HD video. Later.